Today we're going to talk about race, racism, identity. Hmm. Are these conversations that you have at home sometimes? Yes. Sometimes. sometimes. It can sometimes be hard and sometimes be easy. It can be. What are some of the questions you've asked me? Like, what is phrase? And did we talk about it? Mm -hmm. When people say, we're talking about race, what do you think of? I get two things. Okay. First, like a race, like an actual race. Like a... <laughs> okay. What's the second one? Probably skin color. Different skin colors. Mm -hmm. But we're humans. We can speak. We can express our emotions. Mm -hmm. The human race, basically. The human race. Yeah. I love it. Sadie, how would you describe the word race? Skin color. And then how would you describe the word racism? Not treating people fairly just because of their skin color. Because of their skin color? Mm -hmm. And is that fair? No. It doesn't matter what their skin color is. We should treat everyone the same because we know people in our families of all different races. Mm -hmm. There's Peepa, right? who's black. Harmony, who's Korean. Bama, who's white. Mm -hmm. And Pops, who's black. That makes me half black, half white, half Korean. Whoa, that's a lot of halves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have you pick up that first top orange card and ask that one to your dad. Why do people look different from one another? Mm, yeah, that's a good question. Why do they look different from one another? Well, there's, um, there are a lot, it's a big world, right? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like the crayon box where there's all kinds of different combinations. And then as people moved around, you start kind of mixing up those crayons and those colors. Our eye colors are different, our skin colors are different, the textures of our hair is different. It's just how we're intended to be made. And people can tell differences because their skin color is not the same as another skin color. Mm -hmm. Like me and you, we almost have the different skin color, but mm -hmm. on my hand, like that's kind of the same mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. The conversation around just the differences in our skin it's talked about so negatively, like it's a secret and it's actually something to be celebrated and something to be proud of. What words would you use to describe your skin color? I'll say black or I'll say brown. Black or brown. Black or brown? Mm -hmm. So my skin color is like a peach's tan and then daddy's? It's my color. It's like a brown peach. Brown peach. Mommy's skin is like a peach. Mm -hmm. Daddy's skin color is brown. Yeah. My skin is like light brown. Mine's light and his is tan. I look light brownish. This looks good on me and that looks good on you. Mm -hmm. So we've had this conversation for a long time in our own household, which I'm really happy about, but it's important to talk about so that you understand who you are. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's very important to talk about race and how are people different. How come? Because some black people aren't being treated as fairly as white. So when we talk about people being treated differently because of the color of their skin, that's racism. Racism. Yes. Racism is black people and white people not collabing. The lens is constantly on black and white people, but the practice of racism, meaning someone just completely dismissing or dehumanizing another person based on the color of their skin, happens to so many communities around the world. Racism is somebody taking advantage of somebody else's skin color. Right. People can be prejudiced, against other people because they speak different languages, because they're different religions, because they come from other countries. They see a difference and they look down on that difference. But racism is treating people badly because of their skin color. And that is treating people badly because they have black skin. It's also treating people badly because they have brown skin. So how does it make you feel, Destiny, when people are treated badly just because of the color of their skin? 
makes me feel sad because they're not living the way that they want to live. It makes me feel sad too. I have a lot of friends. Some of them have different skin colors than me. Mm -hmm. And I don't say, ew, you have such and such skin color. That's gross. I don't say that. Mm -hmm. I, I tell them you are beautiful and you are who you're supposed to be. We want to raise you with a heart that sees those differences and celebrates those differences. And we've always talked about you treat somebody how you want to be treated like yourself, right? Yeah. Right. Are these conversations that you have at home sometimes? We talked a little bit about that at home, about like what is racism? Yeah. Yeah, and is that an easy thing or a hard thing to do, Lexi? It can sometimes be hard and sometimes be easy. And sometimes we talk about things together and that helps us all figure things out. You know, at breakfast we talk about the uniqueness of ethnicities and cultures and people and the different tones of skin that we shouldn't be colorblind, so to speak, but we should acknowledge the beauty of diversity. Mom has a lot of black history books, so we always do those. Okay. And they're really, really, really fun. Your mom has done a lot with the homeschool curriculum. Remember anything specific about any of the books that you've read through with mom? Yes. So it really taught me a lot about how even if they think my skin color is bad, how I still love it, I still am grateful for it. I'm very happy to hear that because it says to daddy that the way our family has been teaching you about your identity really is helping shape how you think about yourself. And it's beautiful to see. We do talk about racism. Like while we're eating dinner. That's true, and sometimes those conversations, they're not always fun, and sometimes they make us sad. We talked about schools being segregated too, right? Like your school, that building was one of the first schools that was used for black children in DC. Yeah. They use skin color as a reason for saying that some kids couldn't go to school with other kids, and they weren't allowed to mix. I don't think that was okay because Why? it's not fair for somebody to have more than another person because of their skin color. Yeah. Even now, we're still living through situations that are reminiscent of that time. Segregation. So a lot of racial discrimination, um, but back then it was definitely a part of the law. Were you mm -hmm. born yet? No. I think it was a little pre-dead in there. That's around the time of civil rights, so maybe in like the 50s and 60s. Oh, so Nanny and Grandpa were alive. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a lot better now than it was a long time ago. Like Peepaw, your granddad, when he grew up, he had to go into different schools. Peepaw had to go to an all-black school. He wasn't allowed in the white school. Was the black school like the white school, or was it a, a little different? It was very different. It was very different. Really? It wasn't nearly as nice as the white school. And it was just because he was black. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. It's important to be fair because it's not right to treat people just because of their skin tone that they should be treated badly. I just want it to be equal so everybody can just have a good life. I agree with that, right? So I know that this is just the beginning of our conversations about race and racism. And there's a lot of things that I don't know, a lot of things you don't know. I know that I don't know everything there is about racism. Together, we can figure out a lot of these tough, hard questions. And even in the future, I hope that there is an open communication between us. Feel better? Yeah. Yeah. And the reason that we talk about racism is because we want to make sure we stand up against that so that it doesn't continue, right? Mm -hmm. There is no one right way to talk about racism. And as long as we can start to build those conversations from a respectful place, I say we talk about it more, it's time. I'm very proud of being black because I'm rich in my skin color, I'm rich in nature, I'm rich in everything. Mm -hmm. I feel inspired when I have these conversations. Oh my gosh. 
I didn't tell him to say that. So that, that I'm like really taking this in right now. That means everything to me. Can we still pound? <laughs> I love you. Point two. Watch your favorite shows anytime on the PBS Kids video app.